The Somali community possesses one of the most interesting and colorful cultures, but little is known of it since it is today overshadowed by narratives of its war torn Somali homeland, radical Islamist groups, and marginalization. Descriptions that the Somali Heritage Week seeks to do away with through showcasing the positive, lesser spoken of side of this community. Uh, Somali Heritage Week is about telling my brothers and sisters uh, from the other tribes in Kenya the richness of the Somali culture. It's about celebrating diversity. It's about uh, telling that people uh, are different, but we're all together in this. We are Kenyans. We have diverse languages, diverse personalities, diverse characters. Be that as it may, as part of the Somali Heritage Week, organizers of this event want to tackle the elephant in the room, youth radicalization and religious extremism. A heavy burden, what Jair West MP Abdi Kadir Ore says, the Kenyan Somali society bears. Uh, radicalization is, is uh, a global problem. Uh, it's not something that is confined to Kenya. Uh, but the problem we have is, unfortunately, in Kenya, um, radicalization has been given the tag of um, a certain ethnic community. It has been given the tag of a, a particular religion, and uh, that is where we are going wrong. Uh, what we need to do as Kenyans is to make sure that um, that we demystify. We demystify and we don't give it that ethnic and religious tag. The legislator feels that the matter of the Somali community being marginalized has been taken advantage of by extremists who use it to recruit new members. In order to tackle this, the MP reckons the government ought to change tactic and address issues that contribute to matters of young people in the community being lured into the welcoming arms of extremist groups. Sentiments echoed by journalist Abdullahi Mohammed of Wajir, who feels that the harsh measures employed by the government catalyze the problem. The issue of radicalization uh, has been a very thorny flesh in Kenya recently, and uh, people in northern Kenya have, have, have been on the receiving end. Uh, in the sense that uh, people are being, you know, killed anyhow, they just kidnapped from their houses, they are tortured, the rule of law is not followed, and that is creating more radicals because. If you, in a family of six boys and the father, and then you kill a brother, you are creating six more terrorists. Through events like these, officials hope to create a positive image of the community and at the same time educate young Somalis on their heritage. Uh, I have been doing this work uh, after I became a victim of Al-Shabaab. I was one shot and I was in a Gagan hospital uh, for, for, for quite some time, using even close to me. Um, I tried to help my people being ridiculized through culture, uh, my, my youth. I am from Dadaab, where the biggest refugee camp uh, is recited to. If this works out, the community might just be able to shade a negative label that has them paying for the crimes of a select few. Trixingado, KTN News.